Judy H. Fernandez was a hard worker and a hard player. 27-year-old Judy H. Fernandez was not supposed to be at her office at the World Trade Center on September 11th, but she, she was scheduled to leave for a business trip later that day and could have taken the morning off, but she wanted to take care of a few things. Judy being conscientious was just a way of her life. She worked as a benefit specialist in the Human Resources Department at Cantor Fitzgerald and made a habit of using her skills to help friends with their career. Even landing her cousin, Maria Teresa Santillan, a job at eSpeed. She was so organized that she made lists of all of her goals and preferences. Everything from her favorite flower to her desire to marry her boyfriend, John Flamenco. According to her sister, Emma, she knew what she wanted in life, and she was going to do what she had to get it. Her mother, Corazon, affectionately recalled that Judy wanted to be on the go all the time. She loved anything exciting. Years after her brother, Rich, taught her how to ski, Judy took up snowboarding and taught everyone she knew. She had a large and tight-knit group of friends, and her organizational skills would often be put to use and planning parties and ski trips. Judy and her friends had a tradition, a monthly girls' night out. There was a girls' night out that was scheduled for Wednesday, September 12th. But because she was supposed to be out of town, her friends moved it up to Monday the 10th. Nearly all of Judy's friends were there that night. They snapped a photo at 10.45, which would be the last photo of them together. This photo is a reminder of the vigor and the love that Judy showed to all of her friends, her families, and those, of, and those whose lives she's touched. 